0.5 molar sodium hydroxide was carefully added to the barrette using a funnel. To obtain an accurate reading, the sodium hydroxide was added above the zero line on the barrette. The sodium hydroxide was then carefully lowered until the zero line was reached on the bottom of the meniscus. This ensures an accurate reading for all the titrations. One gram of each of the four balsams was dissolved in 50 ml of methanol. Each of the four balsams were titrated against NaOH three times and the mean was calculated. A few drops of phenophthalene was added as the base indicator. Balsam of Peru was first titrated against with the NaOH. 2 mL of NaOH was used during the reaction, and of course this was done 3 times on the mean calculated. Next the Balsam of Peru also used with the phenophthalene indicator was titrated against with the NaOH. You can see the change in colour from the dark brown to the more lighter red colour. Again this was done 3 times and the mean was recorded. The same procedure was used for the Sumatra benzone. Again in the Sumatra benzone, each titration was done three times and the mean of the tree was calculated. The same procedure was used with the prepared storax. The titration with the prepared storax ever is much more clearly visible as the white to the pink is very clearly indicated. Here you can see clearly the difference between the before and after titration. From the mean value from the titrations, you should be able to calculate the acid value of each of the four balsams and compare it with the literature values. And thanks again for watching.